Hey, how's it going? I'm Chris with PearsonCoffee.com, and I'm here to help your brand to make more sales with email. Uh, today, I'm breaking down an email from a brand called Illuminate. Um, this is a brand that sells light rings that go on your phones, uh, the top of your monitors. Basically, anytime you're on camera, uh, their light ring helps um, helps lighten up your face and um, uh, makes it easier for your audience to see you. Um, so essentially, I'm going to break down an email from them. Uh, this email is a pretty short and sweet one, but it has a lot packed into it. I think they do a great job with what they have and what they're doing. Um, there are some tweaks that I would potentially test or make um, on this email. But yeah, so let's dive in and I'll start breaking this thing down for you. Uh, so the first option or the first thing here uh, is their subject line. We always start with the subject line, right? Uh, so uh, their subject line here is this one's for the people working from home. So this is almost like an anthem or a call out. It's a direct call out to their ideal customer or the people that do work from home uh, that need better lighting. Um, so they're calling people out directly for that. So I think that's great. Um, they are trying to segment their, their readers and their audience in the inbox. So people who click on this are those who, who work from home. Um, I'll share a little bit later why I think this is a great subject line, but they don't quite deliver on it in the copy. Um, there's some things that they probably could have added or changed or updated or tweaked that would make the subject line hit a little bit closer to home, um, pun intended, I guess, uh, for the people that are actually going to be opening this email. So um, I think it's a great start with the subject line. Uh, the next element here obviously is a from name and the uh, from email um, here i found something super interesting is they start with their brand name and then they um, separate that uh, into a product category or product type so this may be feedback they've gotten or something they're trying just to make it so it's super easy for people to find uh, their products in their inbox but um, they are led lights um, and they're light rings led light rings basically so the brand name and then the product category um, that seems like an interesting approach um, again, I, I'm going to say this a lot in these videos is I think that if they haven't already, they should test a first name at Illuminate um, as a from name just to test to see if they can make it more personal from a, from an actual person, make that feel real. And then their domain, uh, their from email um, actually looks pretty clean. So standard uh, brand domain info at Illuminate.com. Uh, this coming from a person would actually that would most likely increase opens and clicks. Um, it would build a relationship with the brand. Um, it doesn't have to be one person every time, but it can be somebody from the company. So I think uh, standard standard and best practices, they are using the brand name and info at email. Um, and I think they're doing fine there, but testing a uh, this email actually coming from, uh, from, a, from a person as opposed to the brand or next to the brand, um, I think that might actually test in some better metrics. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and roll down this email and keep, uh, keep breaking it down. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this so far in the breakdown. Um, can't see this email viewed in your browser. So this is actually helpful to, to um, a percentage of readers where they, they can't see some of the email in the actual uh, inbox. Um, this is due to a variety of reasons, which um, it could be from images, it could be from filters, it can be from um, um, various filters, either on the email service provider or the ones that the, the reader has set up. So viewing in browser actually puts this in, in, puts this in a browser tab as opposed to in your inbox, and it, it um, shows the email in that way, helps it, uh, makes it easy for readers and uh, your subscribers actually engage with your email and actually consume it. So um, I think that's pretty neat. I think most emails should use this if you're using kind of graphics or design. If you're going plain text, you probably don't need to use this. Uh, and then again, I mentioned this in my prior emails. I really like the the brands that get away from the top um, the top header or eyebrow menu and they just go with a simple, basic, clean logo and then get out of the way and let their customers get into their content. Uh, the focus of this email, which I didn't mention at the top of this breakdown, but it's a before and after. Uh, before and after setup. So essentially what Illuminate is doing here is they're showing a before, which is on the left here, which is uh, pretty dark and you can't really see this guy's face. And then the after is once they use the product, which they put here in the bottom of this picture of like, hey, it's dark when you don't have our product, it's light when you have our product. You can see this person's face a lot better when they are lit up with our light. Um, I think this is a very, very effective way to show, like demonstrate the power of your product and demonstrate how it works. Um, you see this a lot in industries like fitness where um, people's body shapes and things like that, uh, those are probably the uh, the biggest motivators or biz biggest items or social proof of like, hey, this program, this fitness program works or this diet works. Uh, here's the before of the person, here's the after. Um, Illuminate's using that same concept here. And I think it's super powerful for demonstration. Moving on down the email here, uh, work from home essential. So I thought this was very interesting, uh, a very, or I should say a very specific way to word this, a work from home essential. So they're targeting people who are work from home. So remember this one's for the people working from home. So they, they've already set that theme or that concept right at the top of the subject line. Uh, they're continuing that with this header in the email, uh, work from home. So that continues it and then essential, meaning it's necessary. You must have it. It's something you can't go without. Um, and this is this is kind of the world as of this recording that we're living in is a lot of people working from home. They're on Zoom. They're on 
uh, Google, uh, Google Meets, uh, Microsoft Teams, things like that. And having great lighting helps a ton. Um, and this is what they're leaning on is if you don't have lighting like ours, you are not doing um, your job, your presentations, your audience, whoever's watching you while you speak on camera, you're not doing them justice. So you need to, this is an essential thing if you're a work from home person. Now, this is a section where I've got a few notes here, but I think they could have um, done a little bit better with the copy in this section because you have this great, great before and after. Um, but we don't get into like the emotional cues or the emotional connection on why this before and after matters to the person who's re this, the, the person who's reading this email, uh, the work from home person. So, um, so we'll go through the notes and then I'll talk about that tweet. Some things that maybe this brand could do or try to make this copy a little more compelling to get the click through the, to the video. Cause they are basically showing a video. This, this screenshot or this capture here is of a video, um, that's on the other side of this click and they're trying to get people to go watch the video which I think is, is a great move. Um, if you have, if you're creating content elsewhere and sending people to it, it just, it, it, it basically shows people you're a real brand um, and they can actually connect with you on other platforms, a platform of their choice. If email is not the one they want to use or on both so they can, they can see your brand in multiple places. So these notes here, um, the uh, emotional cue or trigger here, the leaning on is standing out and taking pride in your work. So, if you have poor lighting, you're not gonna be able to stand out because nobody can actually you know, physically see you because if you don't have great lighting, it's a little darker, your face is shaded, um, you're not gonna be able to be seen very well. If you have lighting, you're gonna stand out and you're gonna say, hey, I'm the one, uh, uh, if you look at it like a gallery in a Zoom call um, and you have great lighting, you're gonna stand out from everybody else because you actually have put the effort and the time in to get your face seen. Um, and then that also translates into take pride in your work. When somebody says, hey, this is great work, whose is this? And they they, uh, you say, hey, that's mine, and they look at your face and say, oh, I can see your face. They can connect that with your work. Um, they're, they're pulling in that emotional pride and status almost. Um, also, the embarrassment of, or, or sorry, um, uh, combating the embarrassment of not being able, not having great lighting. So it looks like it's really dark on your face uh, when it comes to lighting. So um, I think they're, they're leaning on that emotion. They're trying to, to pull that emotion out or try to, you know, channel that emotion from the customer. Um, and I think, honestly, a story here instead of just a, hey, try to stand out and take pride in your work. Yeah, no kidding. That's what we're all trying to do. Um, but maybe a story of somebody who has actually experienced this of where they actually got to stand out and take pride in their work because of the lighting, because of the, of the brand's product. Um, the struggling work at home person isn't getting attention and um, uh, recognition because they're not seen well on camera. And then the that's the before. The after is they're getting recognition and standing out on camera in Zoom meetings because of this product. Um, that type of before and after story would actually would probably do really well here and they could say hey click to the click to see the video of this actually in real time of it happening um, so that's the one note for the story let's see a few more notes as we roll down here um oh yes so um in this so the, the story the story is primed right that like the story is primed here with this section they, they talk about teachers and students um specifically in this in this little paragraph for a couple sentences here uh, it's actually yeah two sentences um so yeah, what's the story of a teacher that was struggling to get their, their kids' attention because the kids couldn't see them on camera? This light fixed that. Like if they can find a review or a story or a testimonial of that and use that here instead of just like telling us and actually showing us, I think this copy is gonna get a lot more, uh, a lot higher engagement and it's gonna actually get people to click through to see it. If they could find a before and after with a video of a teacher or somebody who is a teacher, maybe this guy is, I, I just don't know. Um, and a, a, a person talking about being a teacher and why lighting was so important to getting their kids' attention and actually being able to teach them stuff um, and make it easier to teach stuff. That kind of story here in this before and after would be um, would increase the um, the power of this email to actually make an emotional connection and get a click into to seeing the video. Um, and then, yeah, so moving down, this here is actually a red button in the email. I don't know why my PDF uh, pulled this as gray. Um, I'll have to fix, I'll have to figure that out later. But this is a red button with white text, I believe. So it stands out a lot in this email because you have a lot of grays, uh, blacks, and whites uh, color tones when you work through this. And then at the bottom it says, hey, see this video, and it's a big red button. So I think um, even though this shows gray, I think they did a great job of trying to get people to see that, that button and click on it. Uh, they're definitely leaning again on that before and after uh, angle and concept of saying, hey, this is light. This is your face before light. This is your face after light. Let's, uh, let, let's get you the product so you can actually um, look great on camera. And then the final piece um, with, brand, uh, with emails is your socials at the bottom and the footer information. That's pretty straightforward. Um, one final thought here. <clears throat> oh, I already touched on this. So yeah, again, just back to the story piece, the before and afters get even more powerful when you have a story behind it. So if you just have for example, this gentleman sitting here with light off and then he turns the light on, that's before and after, that's like level one. Level two would be, okay, 
what is this guy doing that he needs the life for? Like he's going to be on camera, he's going to be on Zoom, he's going to be presenting. That's level two. Level three is a full blown story of this guy struggled to give presentations, didn't really get a lot of attention. Um, people weren't paying attention. They're dropping out of calls. Uh, they were saying, hey, can you turn on the light? Literally in the middle of his presentation, stopping him and asking him for that. The after is he has a light. They don't ask that. They pay attention. People are clapping and, you know, give like saying, hey, that was a great presentation. We could see you the whole time. We really paid attention to what you're saying. So there's there's like different levels or layers that you can get into this when it comes to power for your copy. Um, I think a story in this sense would actually make this, uh, again, make this um, email perform better. Um, but that's something you can test. So with that being said, that is pretty much it for this breakdown. I know it's a short and sweet one today, but I hope that because of this breakdown, you can take some of these, these uh, items away or, or back to your brand and make more sales with email. Uh, if you want to learn more, go ahead and go to my YouTube channel and check out the other videos, the other breakdowns. Um, otherwise, have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching.